Hey, this is Scott Drawfee Bonds. I'm out here today with the Nikon AW1 and the 10 millimeter f2.8 showed up. Don't have the filters yet, but these tiny little lens caps. 40.5 millimeters. Kind of a weird size, but if it works, it works. Camera sets in aperture priority. For the moment, I'm gonna put the camera in program mode just for ease of use. Except pairs on pairs on pairs. And the car's over there. It's 10 millimeter, 2.8. It's got a little bit of like texture to it. Have your finger going across this direction, it's smooth, but you try to go the other direction, get some resistance. I wasn't able to find a white version of this lens. I actually would have preferred the black version of the camera, but wasn't able to find the black version of the camera. This area is pretty interesting. I don't know why there's so much fencing. Seems to focus relatively close. This camera's not bad with one-handed operation, which is always nice. Illinois Department of Resources Boundary. Any area that humans have access to, they tend to screw, screw it up. Rain is starting to pick up a little bit, but that's why I got this stuff for this specific reason. So that's what the view looks like. Let's go into video mode. And try to overlay the camera view with the GoPro view. So here we're gonna quickly adjust the focus. Handles that. Good exposure test or uh, dynamic range, I should say. Camera's using 2.8, which is good. That would be the goal. There's a nice split with the bright and dark areas. So we've got. Oh, this is quite the... Oh, boogie feet. The camera's using 2.8. ISO 800, 1 13th of a second. That seems a little slow. Check real quick what the CX formats crop factor is. We've got an equivalent view look of 27 millimeters, which is not that wide. Camera's still using 2.8 even in this, this situation. Moss is always a good option for photos. Definitely very excited to have something so uh, resistant to the water. Of course, you don't want to be changing lenses when it's raining. So in this case, I usually just take out one lens anyways. And I wouldn't say the kit lens for this camera 
gives you that much range. It's just not, not a ton, but only two lenses for the AW1, which I'll have to work with and see what I can do. This is a squirrel. I could see this area being really nice for any type of people photos, you know, you, if uh, you bring a model with you and do some long telephoto stuff with these really long paths. We get used to things and that's how it goes sometimes. Nice texture to these benches. The rain's picking up, yet I don't care. This path looks more interesting. Makes an interesting vibration noise. You know I'm not a fan of graffiti, but if it's there, I might as well take a photo of it. Simp for how many? Oh no, it does not say simp. It does not say simp. Okay. Nice point and shoot. Oh, that's neat. They cut the tree in half so that uh, people can get through, but. Trying to keep the camera downwards so that the water doesn't hit the lens, which is the main thing. So let's try that. That does help. Okay, should probably be mindful of my bag, something like that. So it gets some coverage. Now it's a matter of trying to keep water off the lenses which I really wish I had the, uh, you know, filter thing. I have the sound off, so there is like pretty much no indication of a photo. That's kind of not great. I almost feel like I should put sound on just so I can avoid the previews, because I'm not a fan of those previews. Shutter sound, autofocus sound. There we go, okay. There we go. We got it. It's a little weird how you set it and then you have to click okay. Nah, that's not what I want. Nope, nope. There we go. It's trying to adjust my focus point, but it's not cooperating. There is a little bit of ridge on the lens here, which is nice seems to protect it slightly, although I wish I had their official uh, lens filter thing. I highly doubt I'll be able to find, but it looks nice. It's a little larger and robust compared to the filters I'm getting. A lot of my photos are gonna be focused right in the center. I do think I need to be more careful with this camera compared to some so it's going to use, at least in program mode, it's going to use some slower shutter speeds on me. And I noticed some of the photos were a little bit blurry from the kit lens last time. Looking good so far. The camera's got some water on it, but fully functional. I 
I mean, there are weather resistant cameras, the full frame DSLRs and stuff, they're, are, they're touted as weather resistant. Some people say weatherproof. Their ceiling is not anything like this, where you've got a huge gasket, you've got the lens set up in a specific way. So there's like a ridge on the back that the lens actually, the actual mount of this lens is inside quite a bit of the back piece. So you have a full thick seal from the mount. Oh, we've got some mushrooms over here. So we could try some video real quick. Okay, we're at 27 millimeters approximately with the Nikon 1. That's the equivalent, you know, the basic look that you'll get. I don't think that's a great for vlogging, so I don't know. You'll have to decide for yourself if it looks decent, but you could do some very interesting vlogs with this setup. Let's try and get the water droplets on this tree. They look really nice. Oh, this is a nice little mountain. I didn't get an official battery with this camera, but the Wasabi one that came with it has been working decently well. It looked like it was used a little bit, but you know, I did order two additional Wasabis with a USB charger. In addition to that, I actually ordered a few, a few batteries for my old Canon S200 little Digicam, which was my first decent camera. I did have a weird little USB built-in memory camera. I'm trying to remember what the name of it was, but I don't have that one anymore, sadly. I think part of the reason I'll go out is because I love getting out and walking and just getting some exercise. It's a really good benefit to having something else to do while you're out there. Cryptography doesn't need to be the focus every time. This is already helping me learn some of the challenges going out in the rain doing the photography with what you need to deal with. So if I do have a situation that's more serious, I'll be able to do decently well on it. That's it for this video with the Nikon 1 AW1 and the 10mm f2.8 AW version. Scarf Trophy Bonsai. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and the pause feature. All helps out a lot. See ya.